Hi. Hello. Hi. We are theoretically streaming. Jim, if you wouldn't mind making sure the audio is actually coming across. I will. Thank you kindly. I also appreciate that I like made terrible noises at the beginning of the last video and they were not edited out, but I, re I realize that requires effort. <laughs> and this is entirely a purely volunteer event thing Bob got going on. So anyway, can you hear me saying nonsense? Yeah, everything's good. All right, cool. Now that we're 30 seconds in again. Um, <laughs> hello, guys, gals, non-binary pals, and welcome to another episode of Mike's Campaign of Sugoi Sauce episode 46. Soon enough, we'll oh. get to 50. Um, I'll never catch up to Jim's Emre. I think we're in like the 70s at this point. But <laughs> um, when we last were discussed having uh, a fun time with our intrepid heroes, uh, they had finally gotten to long rest. It had been a minute uh, between experiencing some shenanigans inside of a castle and dealing with a whole lot of fiery undead and solving some puzzles and dealing with a whole lot of people attacking them from the sky and then undead kind of creepy dudes deciding they didn't want anything to do with you guys anymore and then coming using a little teleporter to go back to harm's way at home only to find that the entire place is on fire uh, after apparently being assaulted by some uh bandits or what have you from airships and then basically having to fend off some undead uh you have been going non-stop for prop i don't know 24 hours straight probably because last time you'd slipped before this was in a myconid uh lush moss bed if you will um hmm. cer certainly used it's been a day arrangements but yeah it had been a day uh so you all respectively collapsed uh bellarmine canadian and babbage as well as Bellarmine's three new friends, um, Rita, Tan, and Erda, uh, all collapsed um, at the Singing Spade. You, after, I think, setting the bed on fire? Or, no, <laughs> soaking the bed because he'd come up to it being on fire. That's what it was. Uh, then used the bonfire to drive the bed and is sleeping in the tower on his own some. Um, as uh, we returned to our adventurers um having finally gotten a full night's slash morning's sleep since i think it was the middle of the night when you guys finally actually returned um so we join our intrepid adventurers basically like late morning at this point because you've all just sort of gotten a full night's sleep um and i will say for the sake of argument that uh Kanadin wakes up first um with his expertly trained martial art skilled in tone fit body is able to sleep no problem uh and is awake after having also a giant half elf, half -elf yes thank you first. um uh having enjoyed a nice queen-sized bed sleep uh finds himself waking up in the spade of singing i just kind of like pop off the pillow whoa all right Morning! <laughs> Wake everybody else up. <laughs> the sound of the half-elf monk ridden. Oh, I forgot to do introductions. It's been a minute. Um, I'm going to roll back to this real quick. Uh, as always, we have Babbage, Jim, the Tinkerer. And then we have the Jeff, you, our fur black druid. And then we have the Zack, a.k.a. Canada and Storm, blessed our high-elf monk. And then we have the Deacon, Sylvia, blessed Bellarmine, human knowledge clerk. All right. Where were we? Yes, Kanadin was <laughs> choosing to wake everybody else up. <laughs> Good morning, uh, everybody. I'm feeling well rested. Bellarmine, <laughs> Bab Bellarmine, Babbage, and the three retainers are roused. <laughs> Thankfully, you're all most. It's not you were all sort of stirring already, so it's not like a um, jolt out of your sleep. It's not an interruption to my long rest, is it? No, 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 no. Everybody's long rested. <laughs> no, no, no. gotten the full eight. It's like, yeah, seven hours and 59 minutes. No. <laughs> yeah. No. <Nope. laughs> no, no spells for you. <laughs> no, I, I said at the end of the next round, I said, even though I get the uh, the four hour thing, I want to sleep with the full eight. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's fair. And I asked them, retainers, uh, anybody bring any mithril? <laughs> um, Rita steps out of the, of her like single bedroom that you would reserve for her despite it having uh three beds and she's like we're we didn't i um we had no idea 
Sire Bellarmine, we apologize. We didn't know enough that I think we would have had access to such things. To which Tan and Erda step out like, I, 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 I like, sorry, we'll, we'll endeavor to look for some. I imagine you've tried in this town already? Keep your Master, peel, t- Master Cleric, sir? No, no worries, no worries. Just keep your eye peeled. I, but, um, yeah. C- can do. Um, Babbage and Kate, actually, no, Bellarmine, you'd hear more than anybody because you're passive perception, but all of you proceed to hear a conversation between three of them being like, what is, what does Mithril look like? I, I, have you ever seen Mithril before? Like, I assume, I've heard about it. Like, what? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> they, they sort of like talk among themselves, like, I, I <laughs> but you are now all awake. Yeah. Down the stairs. I guess onward. Figure out what we're going to do today. Maybe we can save this town again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, assuming you make your way down, uh, you see Dolan is in fact sitting at the at his usually typical spot when he's not on watch on one of the walls. Um, it's sort of like very stoic like he's not very the man's not very expressive in the face but his very stoic sort of like nod and like uh he turns and starts immediately just making coffee um it looks like he had some sausages and some other um like rations looks like he had already had set aside that he's now throwing on top of the stove to heat up for you all yeah all right i'll head down yeah. and, uh... Besides that, though, the singing spade is quiet. Um, I know I've got all the tokens on there, but no one else is, no one else is actually in. Uh, there is a small fire going in the hearth, but otherwise, um, the spade itself is relatively quiet outside of just the noises of Dolan making bre- making essentially brunch. So I say to Dolan, I've got three more. Um, any extra charges? <laughs> no, I'm. Your uh, your spectacle f- back in the amphitheater with regard to your play was more than enough, I'm sure, if I had consulted <laughs> either Peg or Gentle or uh, Composer Him, he would say that <laughs> their, their meals are more than well covered. No more, no more performances, thank you. <laughs> As he chuckles right, to himself with the memory. <laughs> yell up to the retainers, soup's on! <laughs> Twitch Dolan... To that statement, Dolan's like, Grimbeard's still working on repairing parts of the amphitheater from your uh, furblog friends. (laughs) Climactic ending of that story. (laughs) Uh, But yes, three more mouths to feed. I I will ensure that there's plenty of food. Uh, Feel free to use the large table so that you can all sit together. How did everybody make out? We lose anybody? think so i was asking dolan oh um no some significant you mean you mean overnight um yes outside of river and cognon missing whereabouts um actually no you guys know that they were um one of the NPCs, I can't remember who told you that they were seen being um, taken, um, captured, abducted, if you will. Um, so you know. I remember missing. being told that. No, did I not tell you guys that? I kind of wanted did. Well, oh. Um, in that case, <laughs> that's you know, news so to the Well, all right. So to that's po- yeah, it's possible it was split information. Um, so yeah, well, I mean, if you didn't know, you don't know. Dolan would tell you. Um, no, we we know that. Um, yeah, Cognon and River were missing, but they were Speen being abducted onto one of the airships as it left. Um, besides that, no, lots of bumps and lots of scrapes, but thankfully with access to magic now, um, we were able to tend to almost all the wounds. We still have had the occasional undead straggler, like one or two onesie twosies have shown up to the walls. I hate onesie twosies. Um, but beyond that, um, no, we are fortunate that no one else was harmed. Uh, 
good, good. Ah, uh, but this is news to us that uh, Cognin and River have been taken. Hmm. Did you see which way the, the ship went? Um. Well, actually, um, come to think of it, and then as he's about to like almost mid sentence, actually, where, um. Actually, hold that thought. Um, Jeff, you. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold that thought on you, Zach. Well, because Jeff is over in the Mage Tower by himself, or in Cognitive Tower. Uh, Jeff, you wake up. Um, who has basically been patrolling all night as you ordered him to do so around the tower and in the tower, but you are woken, uh, or you wake up naturally in this gigantic, very comfortable queen-sized bed that you. Uh, with the embers of a bonfire that you'd used to dry it from the night before, basically sitting in the middle of the floor at this point. Um, would you like to do anything in your rousing? Uh, let's see. I wake up, kind of scratch my furry eyelids for a minute, hit the snooze button, just <laughs> go back to bed, wake up again, get up, do a couple stretches, um, downward fur bog, yoga pose, so on. Um, help me out, DM. Was Cuddles upstairs or was he somewhere else? Uh, Cuddles was outside. You don't know where Cuddles is now. Cuddles was okay. ramp was rampaging outside last night. Um, I take a rare moment of solitude to fourth floor is that the library the one before the one below you is yes all right i'm gonna head there all right take out my spectacles that i have never worn amongst my friends and companions and pull out some the most arcane lengthy complex looking tomes of knowledge digest a few chapters and then i'll set out to find my friends um mm -hmm. all right Fair enough. You, as who does a ridiculously long run around the living the, the bedroom upstairs, uh, you hang out and read. Um. Okay. So Dolan, mid sentence, uh, as he's about to say, and try to explain more about what he thinks happened last night. Um. Gentle him, as you recall, the mayor slash composer of this orchestra turned town. Um, knock, uh, walks in with a very, like, just almost like as, 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 as much as you can imagine, as, as, as far as you can imagine the, the color being lost from a red tiefling's face, um, sort of walks in sort of, I don't know, downtrodden and then drops this on Or, so he drops a piece of he puts a piece of paper and then a satchel that he then opens and puts on the table, showing that. This is back to everyone else, right? Say again. This is the other the rest of the group, not me. Yeah, you don't actually see this. Okay. It's just easy for me to show everybody okay. for the purposes of. So what you're seeing is a note. And what you all assume, or it's fair to guess, is a stone hand. That should be obvious from the picture. Do we recognize that hand? Um, I won't bother you about the roll. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because if it's stone, but it does look like it would have belonged to an orc, a half orc friend of yours. Alex. Is it a hand or is it a stone um, uh, model? Uh, it's a hand that appears to have been turned to stone. So it looks like they've taken um, they've taken his hand, turned it to stone, and broken it off. Uh, he cut his hand off and turned it to stone. <clears throat> 
more likely your arcane knowledge would tell you that they turned him to stone and then broke off his hand. Yeah. (laughs) So it's probably Cogden's hand. That is what you surmise, yes. I hope he didn't need that. All right. I guess we found our next adventure. So it's Anybody like get... um, any, um, cement. So Erda, Tan, and Rita are just like confused and sort of looking at each other, being like, "What? Why did? Who's? What is this guy?" Uh, to which so Gentle I... Ham just sort of. Oh, good. I'll, I'll I'll pull them aside and explain to them who Cogden is, and and I think that this is his hand, and he's been turned to stone. <clears throat> that takes a little bit of time. Um, Babbage, I, actually, are you downstairs or are you actually upstairs this whole time? Nope, I am. Um, I'm still in my room. Oh, okay. Well, you didn't see um, this then. All this, yeah, that's fine. All this while, I have been puttering away um, with the five pounds of coal that I recently acquired. Okay. Uh, and digging through my bags of scrap and knowledge of the quartermaster and other resources in the town. And I'm looking for any sources of saltpeter um, the, and sulfur that might exist somewhere in the town. Saltpeter? Saltpeter? Like potassium gunpowder. Gun well, specifically saltpeter and sulfur. I already have it in the chart. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to imagine why or who would have potassium that. nitrate you can get from chicken manure. So if there's any chickens in town, there are. Yeah, no, there's a little bit of. There's been some. Actually, would there be chickens? Or any, or, you know, or birds or bats. Yeah, similar birds or bats. Okay. Well, anything, um. Anything, anything with white guano would uh, would have it. You know what? For the sake of storytelling, we'll say that... Uh, actually, well, okay, so it's got to be some sort of avian thing. It wouldn't be like a mammal. Or wait, no. Yeah. Cuddles. Cats are mammals. Cuddle, cuddles has a uh, white guano? It's just like small little traces of it. All right. Happens, this is canon. All yes. owl bears poop owl can bears be used have... in the making of gunpowder. <laughs> At least within Wallace's dreams. Yes. I mean, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> For the purpose, I mean, owl bear? I mean, I don't I mean, owls maybe don't have poop that owl. can be turned in, but sure, whatever. No, I get you. you. That's fine. Owl, yeah. sure. Got it. Yeah. Totally. All right. So, yep, you can get it from, you can get potassium nitrate from cuddles. Um, and then uh, does Cognans, well, the tower's on fire, but I assume Cognon sourced his food ingredients from around and about the town and area, yes? That would be a f- safe assumption to make. I mean, you're not 100% certain, but he one, sometimes just goes wandering in to find ingredients, so it's fair to say. One can, one can extract sulfur from a variety of different foods. Turkey, beef, eggs, chicken, fish, nuts, seeds, grains, yeah. beans. I'm sure you can find some... You, you, find, you, you believe you could find something in his tower. All right, so I've just been kind of puzzling all of this information that you and I have just discussed IRL okay. in Babbage's brain in his room while he remodels Paladid into a new um, a new body that looks more like the image that I put in Discord. <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna mess up. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> very good. So... Okay. And once he comes to the realization that he has everything he needs, now with this five pounds of coal that he has acquired, um, I'm going to set about. I'm going to set about collecting said resources. Does the bar have any ethanol? You know, like uh, moonshine. Uh, no. The only alcohol they have access to is honey wine. And that's not going to be strong enough. 
Do I need to make a still? Are you telling? Does Babbage need to be bootlegger Babbage? Is that what's happening? <laughs> this, well, this is you, no can, you, probably, you probably need to purify your ingredients with a little alcohol, and ethanol would be ideal. Um, I mean, this is going to be a fun experiment because the DM doesn't know how to design a still or how to make his own alcohol, so this will be an interesting. I mean, it doesn't have to be a, doesn't have to be a still per se. Any sort of distillation chemistry setup would allow me to titrate and mm. <clears throat> just I mean chemistry. you know that there is essentially I mean between between cognin and very possibly um the DM's forgetting all of his NPCs because there's so many of them. Uh who's my chemist or my alchemist? Um between cognin and quail, the chemist uh, and possibly even Mercury, and actually Julie potentially even. I mean, well, whoever whoever Mercury. does the ink must have access to alcohol. Um, you don't recall seeing anything like that when she did the tattoos? I think it might be more of a All magical right. purification process. For you're me. a you're a magical purification process. <laughs> <laughs> um. But all right, so yeah, you go about, I guess, so you, you just you up and walk past everybody downstairs. So, I mean, that's that's my plan. I will now head downstairs with that okay. as my intention, and you can tell me what happened. All right, well, as you walk downstairs, you see um, sort of Dolan's still sort of like going through the motions of trying to get food for everybody on the table, but you see Gentle Hymn's note that's on the table and a stone hand that's just sort of oh. laying there. Do I immediately identify it as Cognitant Sand? Yes. Well, if not, I explain it. Um, does anybody know if this means noon today or to today's tomorrow? Well, you have to ask the person who brought in the hand. When did we receive this note? Uh, it would have been part of last night slash this morning's. So... Well, that makes a big um, difference, because if we received it at 2 in the morning, this gives us until noon tomorrow. But if we received it at 11 p.m., then we've only got several hours left. The attack was after last. The, the attack was after midnight. So you have, I believe, if we're to interpret this correctly. Oh, OK, very good. Plenty of time then. And I nonchalantly <laughs> leave the singing space. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Where are you headed? Uh. I'm heading to the quartermaster shack to go acquire the ingredients needed to turn five pounds of coal in my inventory into some amount of gunpowder for the DM's instruction. Oh, well, I mean, I think everything you're looking for would be in the mage tower, not the warehouse, but... Um... Okay, yeah, Where, wherever I need to be going. Okay, let me... Question, can these healing spells heal a hand? Um, certain, why can I suddenly not remember how to do this? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, there are certain, you, so there's, there's, um, Jim, help me. There's not rejuvenation, regeneration spells that can potentially do that, but like just generic, Hit point yeah. raising kind of spells aren't the sort of thing that's going to help. It is going to undo healing. A healing a wound won't limb. regrow a limb, but yeah. there are ways to get limbs back. Well, despite my stoic nature, I'm very concerned about the fact that uh, he's going to be missing a hand. <clears throat> Fair enough. Um, okay, uh, Babbage, as you go outside, um, outside of just the like the damage that you witnessed last night, um, and most people are going just going about repairs and fixing that sort of thing. Um, activity seems to be fairly normal around the town, but actually, I don't even know if you would notice because you're very purpose driven and just walking straight to the tower. Excuse me a moment. Okay. <clears throat> so, well, I mean, I guess what we could do is while. While Cognan is still a stone statue, someone could cast Mending on him, because at that point he's an object. And then when we, when we un, 
petrify him, he should be all back to normal. I mean, if you're it works on stone, corpses, I don't know why it wouldn't work on a stone statue. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're, I don't, yeah, I don't know why it wouldn't work either. Because that's a, a cheesy way. Of, uh, that that's a cheesy way to get your limb back. Like if you're in a fight and you lose your leg, you can just <laughs> kill yourself. Have somebody cast mending on your corpse, and have somebody ask somebody else cast revivify. <laughs> Seems a very expensive, <laughs> roundabout, risky way to do it, but sure. <laughs> but it should work on a statue. It's the closest thing to like general Listen, anesthesia don't, you can get. <laughs> don't ask why Babbage knows this. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, gentle him. Uh, I mean, you just tear out of the room. Twitch gentle him's just like what? Uh, uh, oh, but oh, okay. I mean, as he walks out, he just sort of looks to you to Canadian and Bellarmine. Like, is it? It's not trivial to get to the depths of the Rushlands. Do you know what's there? Nope. <laughs> Haven't we been there? Have we been there? We have actually. We might have been there. Hang on. Look at the map. Um. Yeah, you guys we, we went to yeah, we we passed we through passed there through rapidly. It, I think. Yeah. I think we went. Did we go into no. the cave? Into the we've not been. We've not been into the Rushlands. I think we passed through it when we came back, like quickly, or flew over it, maybe. Nope. We we flew north over the expanse to where the mana mine is. Then we crossed the bridge into where Vineholm is. But then we flew from the southern tip of Wintervane yeah. back over. We didn't traverse through the Rushlands, to the best of my knowledge. We've never yeah, been to Junktown. No, you've never been, never been to the, the dig. We went into that. It's that cave just across the bridge, um, closest to Harm's Way. Yeah, just over the bridge from Alder's yeah, Tower, okay. we went in that cave, but then we went back. We have not That's gone right. into the Rushlands proper. That's you right. may recall okay. that there was a conversation with a spectral dragon through this magical glass that got shattered after mm. yeah. what I will call the puzzle cave of traps and a gelatinous cube. Yep, we've uh, been in there. Yeah, so you went in there, but then you made immediately, you went immediately back. That was sort of a that was a side quest, if you will. But no, the the Rushlands proper uh, you have not been to. But you know, um, like, we can fly. There is <laughs> we have a way of getting there. Flight. Um, so to that gentle him it's sort of like or so the you've I imagine have come across the wolf like creatures the lysolots it's there that they're homed where their clans as best as we can tell seem to originate from and where they're housed so this is not a trivial matter that's being brought to just get into the heart of the rushlands um so I don't I came in here to implore to I mean I intended to implore to all four of you but since there's only two of you here and your three new compatriots welcome to harm's way by the way he says to the retainers um, forgive us if we're not in the best of conditions to welcome new guests um, but I digress yes I came to implore that you four seem to be extraordinarily capable so I don't know how else to manage with this. Please help. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do something because uh, it seems like Cognon's helped us out a lot. Maybe we can uh, help help everybody else and him. Him and River have been extremely or extremely important members of our community, and we would. And you've done, done a lot. You have done a lot for us. Um, thank you. I'll leave the note with you and I don't know what to do with this hand. Should I keep it? Should I put it in the bag? Should we I don't what he kind of looks to you too. Needs we'll, to be we'll well take it. We'll take preserved. It. Yeah. It needs to be well preserved and kept in uh, good condition and not pulverized. I, I I I will leave that to you then. Um He then walks over and has like a very brief like private conversation with um, Dolan, and then sort of takes off in a hurry. That, uh, it looks like there's fingers missing from the hand, right? Um, 
No, it's it's curled down. I see. So it's more like it's not that the it's not that the bottom. Oh, what direction is it pointing? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it happened. It was placed such that it was pointing toward the middle of the table. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> I mean, the the hand looks like this. If you want to look in the camera, if you guys have that up, um, it's not. I mean, you don't know what. I mean, you have no idea which direction his arm was facing or where he was when all of this happened. So I don't know what you're trying to gain from asking which direction the finger is. <laughs> trying to see if it's it, up or down. Because it was pointing. I was just trying to be so. The DM takes you to literally. Um, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, looks like we may have a journey. It seems like we better get a move on, too. Yeah, we need to get everybody together. Uh, Dolan, at this point, puts food in front of all of you. Well, the five of you that are still there. <laughs> Well, I suppose we could eat breakfast first. Should I keep this? He looks to you too. Should I keep this plate warm for your, for the tinkerer, gnome or no? I would say yes. Yeah, table plate. Very well. Puts it back on the stove. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh, back over, we will jump over to the Mage Tower as you two enjoy breakfast. Um, actually, do I have, I have something for this. Um, no, there it is. No, 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 no. Where's thirty eight? Um, <clears throat> you, the book, actually. I'm so I'm not going to do that. Let's go. Oh, there we go. You, did you just grab like a random book off the shelf? Or were you looking for something specific? Uh, Nothing surgically specific. But let's say for a second that this whole time you has been a closet intellectual. <laughs> and is very self-conscious about it. So... Something to scratch that itch, knowing that it's been months, if not even closer to a year. A Brief History of Halflings, Volume 7. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have a D100 table for random books, so I was just like, oh my I god. Have, I have something <laughs> for this. <laughs> That's awesome. It's too bad. It's too bad that it's not titled. A short history. <laughs> it is unfortunate that that is not what. Uh, but we. Well, that's probably we more respectful. So the the yeah. author wouldn't write such a tome with a pun in the title, thereby belittling. Mm. Belittling. A har har har. <laughs> uh, and then the other book that happened to be next to that is. Um, the Sorceress, a study in Middle Age superstition. I guess Middle Age oh. wouldn't quite work in this situation, but we'll say, um, I don't know, historical superstition. We'll just say for the sake, the sake of argument. Um, okay. Pre so, ancient superstition. There you go. Yes. Yeah, so the ancient superstition. Um, as you're finishing the chapter that you're reading, um, discovering an interesting little tidbit of just random halfling related trivia about um, some of the various different superstitions as to why they believe they tend to be luckier. Um, you do hear the noises of what sounds like someone um, tinkering just downstairs in the lab slash kitchen. Uh, Babbage, you are now in the lab. 
as soon as I hear the first, let's when you see like a, a cat twist its ears and they kind of perk up a little bit. To, there's a new sound. Not sure what it is, but he stays still. That's what you is doing. The furry ears are. Which where's that? Where's that coming from? Um, and then once once determining that is coming from downstairs, you will attempt to quietly set down the book. Um, and for this next part, normally I would roll, but for flavor, I'm going to fail the roll on purpose. <laughs> I will not, you will not remember to take off the spectacles. And then we'll attempt to head downstairs to see what that noise is. Um, so... Jim, Babbage is now currently um, in the lab slash kitchen. Um, okay. Where you are confident you could find everything you need with the exception of um, Cuddles droppings, although his den is only two floors down. <laughs> yeah, uh, once I acquire all of said uh, ingredients, um, I will head, uh, uh, you know, head over to collect uh, the sampling of uh, material from uh, the cage. <laughs> so as you're <coughs> as you're starting to head down the stairs um, to hold for Bob for um, Cuddles sample, uh, that's when you notice that uh, your fur blog friend comes walking down the stairs um, wearing spectacles. Oh. Mm. You, yeah. you say that. Um, no, I, I'm I'm thinking how I would have reacted. I'm pretty deep in my thoughts here. I don't even know if I would have looked up high enough to see your face because normally I just stare at your knees. Um. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, hello, you. I didn't realize you were here. Oh. Hold on. Rewind. Uh, of course. <laughs> Yes, you was upstairs, uh, <laughs> doing new things. <laughs> well, it's nice to see uh, we've all taken some time for personal pursuits while uh, Cognan's hand remains on the table. Oh, you don't know. Cognan, um, <laughs> they found a hand. It's Cognan's. It's stone. And now I've, like, broken from my train of thought. And uh, And you're wearing spectacles. <laughs> you, yeah, you found them. Uh, so strange, these, these, uh, flat bubbles encased in metal. Would you like yes. to roll? A, would you like to roll a persuasion? <laughs> um, I'll give you the option. You don't to have to. That's fine. You chose to fail. That's that's you. I chose to fail once. <clears throat> Oh, I'm probably going to fail because I'm at a minus one. Here we go. <laughs> Babbage, I'll let you do with that what you will. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you do realize that I realize that since we've been companions, you've been increasing your vocabulary and using proper conjunctions and pronouns and I'm not sure why you're maintaining the facade of being big dumb furry guy like you're <laughs> we know you're smart right <laughs> uh, you, uh, and then I will cast guidance on myself and then roll an insight check to see how I should proceed <laughs> <laughs> oh well okay <laughs> what does your gut tell you For so long, my friend. Yes, you were correct. You oh, feel wow. as it's best to appear in such a persona as you first presented himself. But that is all you will say of such things, and you best forget that you saw this. I am so intrigued with everything that's happening, but <laughs> we have until noon tomorrow to help Cognon, or he's going to be a, a statue forever. 
So we're going to put a pin in this, and we will revisit it. Um, <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Listen, I need you to help me make a rifle. <laughs> rifle. You, yes, you I've, has not, I've come up you with has a, not I've, rifled through others' belongings in several days. I've come oh, up with a, fen <laughs> a phenomenal new design, I've and I show done. him, I show him this sketchbook entry in Discord. Dun, 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 dun. I call it Babbage's Blastomatic. <laughs> you, you see, you kind of. Scanning around, but like like this, and then <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't say. Yes, of course. Uh, a high velocity impact, in indubitably. <laughs> you might be my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So so you and Babbage just spend some time looking at his schematic, and I'm explaining how like. By using a lead, a soft metal for the the actual impact of the charge, uh, it allow it to deform upon impact and spread its energy out, creating a, a more uh, devastating wound rather than using a harder metal, which would just pierce all the way through, which would be less lethal. Um, using the char the coal that I found previously and the other ingredients here in town, I'll be able to to regulate the the force of the impact. Um, using my tinkerer's capabilities, I can. Uh, augment the stock of the weapon with one or multiple affect engine slots to add an elemental uh, affinity to the uh, the charges as they exit the barrel. By putting grooves inside of the barrel, I can give the uh, projectile a spin, which will increase its stability and give me a better chance at uh, at hitting my target and giving it extended range. Um, using a small metal casing, I can hold multiple uh, blast charges at a time. Uh, so while this weapon would have mechanically what we call the reload uh, requirement, I could get five shots off before having to do so. Uh, and I estimate the cost of each individual charge would be about three gold a bullet. Um, and I don't know what cost-wise in materials for the actual uh, rifle itself, but that's something that the DM will tell me. Uh, yes, you, you recommend you recommends, uh, to account for the possible Coriolis effect beyond the thousand paces of a <laughs> medium-sized human creature. <laughs> oh. I absentmindedly make a tea. <laughs> We're just sitting and chatting about my invention. And uh, unless somebody stops me, I'm, this is like two hours of, of, my, of the next part of my life. <laughs> it's, it's a natural progression. From the <laughs> the uh, frozen ice block stun combo between you and I, hmm. I love it. All right, the two of you have absentmindedly made Babbage is almost like unconsciously made tea from like the local tea tea plant that literally Babbage has got or that or Cogden has had sitting in the middle of his lab. So, start to interrupt. So, for the next two hours, are we talking about this, or are you crafting it while I'm there? Um, well, I didn't hear what Mike said was the cost. 500. 500. Uh, I think I have about that. I'm going off of a um, musket from the rules. Oh, I'm, I'm going off of modern item of rifle hunting, which I will send you what I found. Doesn't have a cost. That's obnoxious. Yeah. Oh, you must be on the same page as me. <laughs> Wiki dot? Yeah, it doesn't have a cost. Which yeah. is why I was going off of a musket. Well, it could still be 500. You're the DM. It could be 10. It could be a million. It's like you're in charge. <laughs> no, I think that's reasonable. Uh, okay. 2d10 versus 1d10. Yeah, no, I like 500 seems reasonable to me. Okay. For essentially making a fancy ranged weapon that'll do a good amount of damage. <clears throat> so yeah, well, okay, right. so this is happening unless you want to say something else oh so is he are we crafting now or is it still in the research phase i mean he made it sound like you guys were talking over tea we're, so, we're so passionately discussing passionately discussing the design uh and going through my inventory of materials to ensure that i have enough to make it happen 
which I'm literally doing in real life because my inventory is so long. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna meta cheese guidance for this entire conversation so Babbage's insight is even more profound. <clears throat> or any skill check, recollection, all of it. Cool. Okay. While that's happening, back over to the singing spade. Um Kanadin and Bellarmine, as the two of you have been enjoying have been well, I'll let you tell me if you were enjoying your breakfast or not. As you have been eating your brunch, <laughs> um, Bellarmine's three retainers have just been peppering the two of you with questions about, like, how did you come to the island? How did you become friends? How did how did Bellarmine become friends with this noble-looking half-elf? What is your background, sir? What What all has transpired on this island? What happened? Why did you get trapped here? What is this talk of like, well, this is the famous island that we heard about that was attacked by Rivik all those long, long years ago? Who were all these people in this town? How was this town even here? How was this town even here? You had some adventures in Vineholm? Like, what was this like? And, then, like, and, just, and just, just yada, 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 yada. And so that's, that's being thrown at the two of you. How do you choose to respond? I would definitely start, start out answering like enthusiastically, but like as the questions kept raining in, I'd be like, it, okay, it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you just all right, and I think it's about time we go find uh, so, uh, find our buddies. I, and I and I hand them all the documents that I've been carrying around, tomes and explanations of of uh, necklaces and all ah. kinds of things for them to look at. And then I say, well, why don't we go find um, Babbage and see if um, we all can help him with whatever he's working on. To which the three of them just sort of like not yeah absolutely yes let's do yeah I, okay yeah let's do that I think that's that let's let's we'll go help the 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 bad 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 bad, 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 bad. yes we'll go with yes that sounds wonderful um, <laughs> so fun and, having and, lackeys <laughs> and off we go to the tower <clears throat> um as you all get up to leave uh, Rita sort of like looks at the table is like I I don't. It, do I have to take the hand? I don't, I'd rather I'd rather not. Can we? Can someone else? Like I thought I thought I, I grabbed the hand, but maybe I didn't. I okay. No, that's fine. If you did, that's fine. Like okay, okay. She she's relieved. Um, I was just concerned. I was concerned that it's kept very safe, so we don't pulverize it or something. Very good. All right, everybody's. Let's see if I can just. Moving to the tower. Yes. Uh, no. My... At the door. Hold on. Okay. And now. All right. <clears throat> um. So the five of you come in. I assume at the ground level. Um, the same description for you two, by the way, is um, the same as what I gave to Babbage earlier about like the town. You're basically, it's like 11 o'clock at this point, um, so almost noon. Um, people are busy, sort of, like, you actually, you happen to see, like, Tag off in the distance, like, sort of pointing and sort of directing different supplies that are coming out of the warehouse to sort of, to help repair all of everything that happened, um, all the fire that was in the town. Um, so activity is a little more active and bustling than before, and you do hear the sound of a small string quartet that seems to be trying to just keep the mood lively as everybody's going about their business around town. Like like Just a Titanic a scene here. Uh, it's not that sad. <laughs> it's not. It's more trying to be like upbeat and lift and uh, uh, uplifting. Um, but beyond that, um, nothing seems. Nothing sort of jumps out at you too as you head over to the tower. Uh, and as you come mm -hmm. in on the ground floor, um, you walk in to see. Um, after I mean, it's been about. I mean, you guys ate brunch for about, I don't know, like a half hour, we'll say. Um, you see Babbage and you... Uh, have you kept your... Jeff, have you kept on your spectacles this entire time? I've lost Jeff. Uh, as the whole party's together. <clears throat> I just want to understand if the, the rest of the group walks in on Babbage being... or on you being intellectual... For blog versus the caricature he's been putting aside, putting in front this whole time. But it seems we have lost yep. you. 
Well, I scratch my head out of respect. I have no idea why um, his um, his personality and his intellect is evolving, <laughs> but I shake my head up and down, and then I say to the uh, retainers, um, "I'm uh, I'm very interested in helping you out, uh, Babbage, if, and I think they would help you too." Ah, uh, uh, for now, um, I could certainly. Um... Set up shop in the quartermaster shack where I was given a, a, a section of the of the facility to work in. Um, I could give you all a list of things to gather for me. Save me some time. Uh, I'm happy. I'm happy to do that, and I'm sure they will too. Bellarbine's attentive to this. The three retainers seem mildly distracted by the fact that Paladin has walked up to them. <laughs> and it's just sort of like looking at them all curiously, and the three of them are looking down <clears> at <throat> Paladid and just sort of again, sort of almost like looking to Bellarmine to be like, um, what I don't what is <laughs> uh, uh... Um, You see Rita sort of like attempts to like pet or like tap Paladin on the head, to which Paladin just almost like jumps to meet it, almost like a high five. <laughs> to which Rita just sort of jumps back and is very confused, to which then Paladin sort of jumps back looking confused as if that's a greeting. So, like, walks up to the next, walks up to Tan and, like, jumps back again. Uh, walks up to the half-orc, uh, Urda, and, like, jumps back again. Just absolutely confusing the heck out of the three retainers. Um, this is Paladin. This is uh, Babbage's um, mechanical friend, so to speak. Oh! Ah, yes! Everyone, say hello to Paladin. Paladin, treat our guests as nicely as you would have treated the rest of us. Paladin sort of turns turns to you, Babbage, and shakes his head enthusiastically and gives, as best as he can, a thumbs up with both hands. Um, and then sort of scurries back over to you, um, seemingly also, e eagerly you, you awaiting the ability also, to put together something. And I'll say, you, 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 almost, you, you may also see an owl flying around. Yeah, that's the the fur blog's uh, friend. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 you've <clears throat> can you? Is there? Is there? Like you see, like the the retainer is sort of like speaking much, speaking about speaking amongst each other again. Like, is there anything in the scriptures that against like a little walking creature? No, no, I don't think so. That's fine. Like, okay, just you know, asking the question. I, uh... <laughs> As long as they're good creatures, we have no problem. The second they, uh, they're not good, we'll have some problems. Oh, of course. And the three of them are like, oh, yes, well, of course. But as the knowledge cleric has said, uh, yes, th th thank you. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Just absolute acquiescence to that. Like the moment you've like, you've, moment you've like, that's, that is law. <laughs> Old as well. Um, <laughs> Jeff, did you retain your spectacles during this conversation with Babbage? I want to know. My question is: Does as the rest of the party and the three new retainers walk in, do they witness you being intellectual for a blog, or are you back to acting for a blog? I have a, I have a few thoughts. Let me think right. this. Let me think out loud before I actually role play. So, we've been looking at the schematics. So that's a strong positive. To yes, I would still be wearing them, but if we're not actively poring over them, because they're more like readers rather than. Oh, now I can actually see. Yep. Um, I would probably leave it up to the role, the probability of which I leave to you. Um. All right. No, I'll say if you're just you weren't actually pouring over them, you just would have you would have uh, almost had a habit. You would have taken them off and put them away. Right. Because with um, readers, you don't keep them on if you're not. Would you immediately have stopped yeah. talking the moment? I'll say you were still talking, but then like the door opens and you see your party walking in. Would you? And I'll. Unless you say otherwise, I'm going to assume you immediately like revert back to old for blog you. Um, yeah, I think I would have. I think I would have reverted because they would have entered Just from here, and I probably and uh, they would come, who's, I had them coming in the store. Ah, but who is also in on on the jig? So I'm sure owl ears and patrolling. Would it, it would have been like? I mean, you're implying that anybody else talks to who, but. Well, no, but I mean, no one talks to who, but he. Oh, people Our senses in, are guess, quite yeah. keen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We, just, we just we just defined who to the retainers, so. 
Yeah, you missed a little. Defined? No, 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 defined. You missed the you missed the retainers being very confused why there's a spectral owl and a little walking automaton running around. Uh -huh. Uh, they were, which they, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what they're, in the they're, world? They're just concerned that it might have been evil spirits, you know. Yes, but the but the authority that is the knowledge cleric reassured them that they are fine. Um, of course. So you are now all back together with Babbage yes. typing away. And to we're all helping Babbage as, as hard as we can to build his um, his black powder of gun there contraption well if it's black powder there wouldn't be cartridges <clears throat> you said black powder i didn't say black powder well that's what you're making because you're getting sulfur and you're getting a that's black powder it's not i'm powder. making i'm making tinker's blast powder okay well what what, what are the components um magic and some <laughs> other stuff and what's the other stuff <laughs> Of a, a variety of, of things. I'm not, for the purposes of Dungeons and Dragons, I'm not going to try to get into the exact chemical combinations that it are necessary. It sounded like charcoal and it sounded like uh, potassium nitrate and sulfur. That's black powder. Which is, I think, probably where I was thinking musket versus rifle, but it's all good. Um, no, no, he's got, no, you can have a rifle and you can have a rifled barrel, even if it was a ball, but it looks like he has a conical shape on the front which is great i'm going to suggest to him that he might want to put an x on the lead and where it points because that would uh, cause it to stay to stay and not pass through whatever he's shooting at the three-way intellectual conversation about gun <laughs> weapons and in this mystical fantasy study we have going on has the three retainers utterly perplexed <laughs> 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 and possibly also Canadian, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, in the middle of this, I, I say to Babbage, uh, you you wonders uh, just, you wonders to hit to hit a, a thing, a target uh many paces in front. How how would you how would you point boomstick? Uh, Somatic. Yes, that. Now, and I have a question. Did I hear him <clears throat> speaking intellectually beforehand? You did not. No, he reverted back to his oh, own okay. voice. Right, so I'm not. Before. I'm not confused. Then I'm not confused. All right. No, no, no. That's fair. <clears throat> With the uh, when the what I said before was when the um, retainers look really confused. I just shrug and go, hmm, "Tinker's going to tink." <laughs> <laughs> fair. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe Babbage can take inspiration from from who and and add owl eyes onto the onto this boomstick. Add owl eyes onto it? Is that what you said? Owl owl eyes, yeah. Like a scope. Sight, sight. Oh, I hear you saying. <laughs> um, I do have in my possession a spyglass. I could consume the spyglass in addition to all the other materials to add a scope. I, I don't know what to to what end that would give me. Maybe a greater chance to hit. Well, if it's black powder, your range is going to be small, so it's up to you. When Canadian sees, I mean, I would think it's. I mean, I'm I'm creating. I'm trying to create a weapon with like a range, an accurate range of 240 feet. I'm not trying to create a two mile sniper rifle. Yeah, so you don't need <laughs> you don't need, you don't need a, a, a too much of a scope. Just sight. I guess if you were, what I would say is, if you're gonna if you're gonna consume the spyglass on it, instead of it being a disadvantage beyond 80, it would just be like range 240. Period. Oh, that's that's definitely solid. worth. Oh, that's 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 big time. That's absolutely worth. Yeah. Uh, okay. Y yards or feet? It's feet. Everything in D and D is feet. Yeah, that's not that's not too bad. That that's reasonable. So okay. When can so so cool. So I am gonna consume five hundred and sixty gold worth of my materials and my spyglass, and produce as a result my rifled blastomatic and twenty charges of 
Babbage Blast charges. Okay. The rifling was, the rifling was very wise. <clears throat> um, all right, so <clears throat> is the entire team helping him with this? Because I know you have to go grab materials out of the warehouse and come back here and use well, this lab we, to we've all offered, the Well, we've all offered and I've offered the retainers to help however Babbage wants to direct them. Well, let's see. My crafting capability at a level 11 is 100 GP per hour, but Paladin doubles my that, right? Paladin can double that, and I assume aid from others could also assist. And it's a knowledge cleric, so it's <clears throat> not stupid. No, you would. I, I don't think like anybody's you. stupid. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, Bellarmine, you could probably help in some ways that aren't. I mean, a lot of this is also just the skill with his hands about how to put stuff together, right? And there's magic involved that you don't necessarily have access to. Um, is it safe to I assume would this argue... is a bolt action rifle? It is. It's a five a five round magazine bolt action rifle. So there's no reload after until the five rounds are expended. Yep. But then it uses an action to reload the magazine. Yes. Um, I would argue the three retainers would actually be probably outside of like moving things would probably just be more harm than helpful <laughs> if it were if it were just me and paladin it would be like almost three hours so if other people can make that quicker then great um i'll say with bellarmine's help and with you doing guidance it, that knocks off another hour um katie did what are you doing while this is all happening so when i see um <clears throat> when I see this 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 boomstick being made, I kinda you know, I inquire about it and ask and say, hmm, can you make more than one of these? Uh if I have the materials I could, but this is gonna clean out the majority of what I have on me. Hmm. You Maybe see we should keep an eye out. Babbage, like I I listen Canada, have off. you met me? <laughs> I have been keeping an eye out for materials since we got on the airship. Uh, That's like my number one MO, which is putting stuff yeah, in my bag. Just shoving stuff in his magical bag of <laughs> lots and lots and lots and lots of things. Yes, um, but we haven't. So maybe you give us a list of the things we look for. You can fabricate one of these for each of us at some so point in the future. If you look for anything that has gold value to it, because that's how I work. Uh, it's it's not true. It's not true artificing. As a tinkerer, it's a it's an, a magical augmentation to artificery, where I can actually almost through alchemical means transmute raw materials based on their gold value into other materials. So regardless of the the source base material, if I it doesn't all I don't need. It doesn't all have to be iron, I mean. If it, if it has gold value, it's valuable to me. I mean, you're watching Babbage turn, like, a jar of mismatched buttons, some practice swords, <laughs> a bunch of, like, chairs, a plain urn, <laughs> like, parts of a wheelbarrow. Somehow he's converting all of this stuff into a rifle. <laughs> like, um... Just, like, generic so, mill noises in the background. Yeah, clinking. just somehow it's, like, yeah, it, it's... The, like I'm imagining some sort of magic like wood chipper that just like all the stuff's coming in and like slowly instead of like chips, it's just a rifle that's sort of manifesting out of this thing. <laughs> and then once it's done, like a twenty basically four magazines worth. Um Okay. So between you going back and forth uh from the tower and the warehouse, um at first, Peg seems to be like, oh, you're here to help. And then you just sort of walk past her because you were very dedicated <laughs> on a mission. She's like, um, I, what, okay, okay. Like, are you going to grab what did, um, what, all right, fine. <laughs> Goes back to help, like, directing the rest of the town. <laughs> um, you get the occasional, like, hey, thank you. Like, appreciate your help. Like, you guys are great. <laughs> uh, which I imagine between the combination of you either just straight up ignores or just sort of like politely waves and keeps going. Um, but yeah, yeah I'm, course, I'm, I'm pretty focused. Unless somebody yeah. like puts their hand on my shoulder and says, 
hey babbage yeah, <laughs> like, no, I'm, you're, I'm you're, in it i'm in it to win it you are unintentionally <laughs> being rude to an entire town of people but that's that's fine um the only person that seems to notice that this is happening is canadian so that that works out um mm -hmm. and the retainers who just seem perpetually confused um <laughs> and ginger shrugs mm. Mm. uh i'm I'm not going to ask about that, despite my curiosity about why the deacon put divine intervention into chat, but moving on. <laughs> um, that is a thing he can do at this point. Um, okay. After two hours and the vast majority of the stuff that you had in your nap, your um, haversack, uh, it has a specific name. Your, ba your back. The handy haversack. Handy haversack, thank you. Yep. Um, so I've, I've deducted. I deducted from my inventory, which is now accurate. Okay. Uh, you now have yourself a... I don't know if they have patents in this world, but you feel the need to patent a... Babbage's Blastomatic. Babbage's Blastomatic. Um, it's not shiny, but it is very clearly well-crafted. Um, All right. And it is now early afternoon. Okay. The um, moment that you have completed the rifle, your stomach suddenly goes, by the way, you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I need to eat. <laughs> well, we, uh, we had them pretty on brand. <laughs> pretty on brand. Food. We had them save some food on the warmer for you in the... Uh... Um, in the end, that was two and a half hours ago, so I don't know if that'll still be sitting there. But <laughs> <laughs> that's questionable whether it'll still be. Might be a little chewy, though. Um, um, I, w I will, uh, I will, I will sling my blastomatic over my shoulder with the leather strap that I've attached to it. And uh, make my way to the singing spade. Uh, you, you are also hungry at this point. Although I don't know, you may have been snacking the whole time. I'm not sure. Is is the library burned? The one upstairs? No. Yeah. No. There were. Well, I take that back. There were some of the stacks. Or some of the bookshelves were, in fact, on fire, um, but as I recall, but um, you put, I believe you put them all out pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So there are parts that are burned, but the majority of the library is fine. So I tell the retainers, do I check out the library? There might be something interesting there that will help you understand this place. Oh, absolutely. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. They all just like in violent agreement. Uh, please show us to this. I mean, we didn't even know this town had a library. Please, I, it, which one of the many buildings? Like, I didn't. It's shocking to me that they would have s such a place if this was a traveling. Um... I start walking. I start walking upstairs. Okay. Um. All right. As you, <laughs> so, as you walk upstairs, the three of them again, just like, wait, why? I thought, isn't it another bill? No, uh, okay, and they proceed to walk upstairs and sort of lentilly prepared to have to like go somewhere else. The fact that they're already at the destination, they're just sort of, uh, uh, oh, that this oh, okay, this 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 enjoy. is a library. It, it, I mean, I just say enjoy. Um, <laughs> is there a particular tome you would like us to? investigator a subject or uh, any sort of guidance just um pick anyone you want and if you find something interesting let me know but uh, um how do we know what how do we know what he finds interesting i just I, he, he he's he doesn't he just know everything is it everything interesting to him i don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> i just crap i mean fuck but I'm sure I'm sure between the three of us we can find something. Yeah, sure. They just start combing out and just sort of like heading through every single individual book and just sort of like, uh, this is meet the Miller Mind standard. No, and they proceed on. As you just sit down, I, I imagine grab a random book and yeah, um, they're slightly panicked 
Uh, but they are scouring the library for what they hope you will find interesting. And I just kind of look over my eyebrows and say, three, three pairs of eyes plus mine are better than just one. Of course, yes. That's just ah, it's such wise words. Wise words, yes, absolutely. I did, of course, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I just, yeah, yeah, did you find anything? No, not yet. Calm down. Like, all right, fine. Hold on. Just... Um, twenty. Um, at one point, Erda sort of just sort of peeks his head around the corner, and it's like, "Do you?" Are you into cooking, Master Cleric? No, we're, in, we're into figuring out what we have to do here to get to that uh, location where that um, Cogden might be made out of stone right now and his <laughs> hand's missing. That's what we're looking for. Oh! To which point, like, the three of them like, oh, he's looking for a map. We can find a map. Oh, we can totally find a map. <clears throat> like, how to get to a place. How oh, we could do that. And they, again, they, with... With more direction, they proceed to uh, scour the library looking for something relevant to the map. Um, Tan's very methodical about it, like, one, one, one. Erda almost looks like he's, like, Erda seems to be pulling books, looking at a cover, putting it back in. Some of them fall on the floor. He doesn't seem to care. Uh, and then Rita is um, sort of scanning spines of books and not even pulling them out and just sort of look through uh, so that's happening. Uh, all right. So Babbage, you and Kanadin, are you all headed to the spade? I've already said yes, I was. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Uh, I'm just going to say that we should probably get going pretty soon. Uh, can, the reta- can the retainers get tattoos? I don't know why they couldn't. As long as you well, have we, the appropriate... We need the mana for it. Yeah. Oh, there's I didn't some very everybody. there's some very powerful ones. You know, and there's potions. There's very powerful ones of those. Do they carry any potions with them? Um, the retainers? No, they don't have any potions yeah. on them. Uh, there's, there's, least, I don't think I gave them any. You guys all have access of to her- inventories. I, I have potion of fire breath and potion of heroism and oil of slipperiness still. Yes. Um. Okay, Babbage is going into the same I'm, I'm just wondering if I can mul- multiply the um, number of um, items with, by having the retainers carry so, or assist. Certainly. I mean, they can carry stuff for sure. Um, but you have to, re- I mean, just as a point of remembering, every pretty much everything that you can get from this town is going to cost mana crystals of a sort. Mm-hmm. I'm not certain how many you all have at your disposal at this point i imagine i think you've used most of them but um but yeah no there's nothing that stops the and do i have a really good description stuff. of do i have a really good description of mithril that i could show them uh not at the moment no um I, let's say Babbage but i can be do, able to help <laughs> Okay. The what? What? Uh, you are you heading over to the singing spade? Yes. And uh, Zach or uh, yeah, Kate did. You said you're I'm here, so as well. You're also mm-hmm. in the spade. okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna be encouraging him to let's uh hurry the hell up and uh go see my friend. All right. So the as the okay. So Bel Bellarmine and the retainers retain themselves at the mage tower um so they are all i'm just gonna stick them over here for now never mind um <clears throat> what the... okay um so the two of you return so the three of you come back to the seeing spade where's where's used to Oh, he was never here. Pardon me a moment. Go grab Jeff's token. I like it. He's been staring in the blackness this entire time, and I didn't realize it. 
Okay. Um, is Jim, Jim frozen or just motionless? I'm right here. Um, if he's frozen on your screen, I see him moving on mine. Um, no, no, he just moved. He was he was playing Babbage very well as a focused tinkerer. Um, so the three of you re-enter the singing spade. Um, well, two of you re-enter, one of you enter for the day since you had not been back yet. Um, Dolan is still behind the bar, and you see Mercury and Lyco um, enjoying a late lunch. Um, seemingly still somewhat worse for wear after the activities of the following previous evening. Um, okay. So I walk in. Um, my stomach is grumbling. I go right up to... Who do I see here? Uh, Dolan, Mercury, and... Uh, yeah. Right up to Dolan. I hop myself on the stool. Plop paladin on the bar top with his legs dangling over the edge like a child. And uh, and I say, Dolan, my friend, I'm feeling hungry. Ah, yes. Uh, your friends had asked me to keep a plate warm for you, although that was some time ago. So um, allow me to pull you some. Uh, I've been actually just have a fresh stew that I've made for Mercury and Lyco. I'll make you a bowl. Uh, Dolan, my friends... friend, that sounds delicious. Uh, will you two be joining? As he voices over to Canadian and you. Yeah, we're coming. Yeah, yes, yes. Very good. <clears throat> ah, okay. Um, yeah, Canada just basically pulls out a... I mean, he pours a stew of what looks like mostly just... Um, Tomatoes, or not tomatoes, vegetables like potatoes and carrots, um, and a bit of a broth. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I didn't catch. Is that for Babbage or everyone? Um. He has put three bowls of stew onto the bar for the two, for the three of you to enjoy if you would like some. Again, it seems to be like a vegetable stew that has some um, sausage aroma. <clears throat> a little bit of sausage sprinkled in and some um, I don't know what level of spices he'd have access to. We'll just say salt and pepper to make my life simple. Uh, but yeah, no, he's got it's a, it's a it's a thick hearty stew that he's got that he's basically pours out for the three of you. Um, and because it's after lunch, he also puts a glass of honey mead in front of the three of you. Mm. I eat a few bites, but kind of anxiously being like, hey guys, we, we, we really should get going. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time. Did you say honey mead? Yes. Oh, you, you, uh, you think this pairing of spirits and soup, does, I will have the soup. <laughs> Very well. It's, I mean, it's um, a savory soup with a sweet yeah. Fair. <clears throat> um, to which point, Dolan sort of like leans in onto the bar in front of the three of you, sort of like eyeing Mercury and Lyco. Um, if, if you all could keep the hand situation to yourselves, uh, him and I have decided that we'd rather not lower the morale of the entire town, if you understand. Not as good as a wink, my friend. Say no more. Say no more. <clears throat> your, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty reasonable. Your your discretion is appreciated. He kind of leans back and <clears throat> pours himself a bowl of stew. And he's got a few more bowls out, sort of implying that it seems there may be more people coming in shortly. Hey, I gotta <clears throat> flip a coin. Tails. Okay. Okay. So I um I eat the delicious stew. I drink the delicious mead. I ask Dolan for a glass of water because I'm parched. He provides. And I want to be hung over. You know, mead's a very sugary alcohol. Mm. Um I wipe my mouth. 
uh, tan flint sprint, ready for combat. <laughs> Somebody's looking at a character sheet. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, I wipe my mouth. Uh, I thank Dolan. I give him a big wink again. I can hear I hop you. down off my I hop down off my stool. I grab Paladin, and uh, I say to the general direction of you and Kanadin. All right, boys, let's go save Cognan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're handy in a pinch. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> at the singing spade. <laughs> Switch Dolan. Sort of just like glares at you as you're walking out. <laughs> just like. <clears throat> uh, Mercury and Lyco kind of just like look up and sort of look confused. Uh, but yeah, sort of can go back to their meal. But don't, yeah, don't, you're getting daggers from Dolan. I shrug and pretend to flip a coin onto the, the, uh, the bar. Well, I mean, they say, keep the change. They don't know Cognon was taken. I didn't say anything that they <laughs> don't know. No, they do. They do. They just the way you said it, it was a sort of like, all right, thanks. Um, all right. Uh, you are you following them out after completing your? Story? Oh yeah. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Let's see. If you could, um, if you could send who to go find Bellarmine and have him meet up with us at the gate. That'd probably be quicker than trying to figure out where he is. And the spectral owl takes flight. And Babbage, charged with newfound confidence, makes his way that way. So when the owl approaches, um, I tell the retainers, search the town gradually and kindly. Stay safe, and if you find any mithril, let me know. But I don't want you guys in danger, so stay behind. We're not. Wait, you don't. What? What? Um. Uh, okay. Well, what? what, what, what in people's what, houses. Where? Where? Forty-six <laughs> sessions of asking where his retainers are. He finally gets what he says to say. <laughs> Well, listen very carefully. If they're placed in danger, they'll leave. I don't want to lose them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It says right there. It says right there in the list. If you continually place them in danger, they will leave if they're frequently endangered or abused. I don't want to lose them. Go look for some mithril. The three of them are somehow more perplexed than they've been so far, which is quite on a scale of, I have no idea how to scale perplexion. Um, perplexity. Oh, the perplexity. Goodness. There we go. So, I feel like, but the, Ooh, okay, Master Jennifer. Cleric, sir, you don't, with, we're here to help, but you don't want to, with, <laughs> which is, where are you going? <laughs> Some place where there's a lot of danger. <laughs> I don't want you guys getting hurt. <laughs> what? So, she just, um, do you, uh, they all just seem utterly lost and confused at this. Um, <laughs> we'll do the best we can to help serve you while we're, you're, how, how long will you be gone? <laughs> like, what? I, Until I'm back. I, I just, um, uh, I, Okay. Erda seems to be the most like accepting of this. He's like, that's that's what he said that <clears> we're <throat> gonna do. The other two just sort of seem utterly downtrodden and confused. <laughs> like, well, I, well, okay. Um, we found I, I found a pamphlet, uh, and he proceeds to open the pamphlet, which you recognize because it was also the first time you'd ever seen a map of the island that was outdated. He's basically showing you the same table you've seen before. He'd be like, uh, this is, I guess, to get to the Russians, you'll go over this bridge. Here, sire. Um, uh, best of luck on your journey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They've turned into low-level farming bots from WoW. 
<laughs> we don't we don't want you know I, I don't want to lose them it says right there if they're frequently endangered or abused so you know we're going into some dangerous stuff so that's how that frequently though a lot better of looking for materials and getting to know the people in the town and stay safe we will we will execute your orders to the best of our ability master clerk uh to which that they head out of the town and sort of wander around um meanwhile the owl does seem to be perched on the um window of the tower eyeing you and sort of looking at you Bellarmine, mine um seeming to try to motion you to walk out to get to head out of the tower you see you see a wing lift up and kind of flicker in the direction of the rest of the party on my way okay um canadian are you where are you headed i was thinking with them i'm just not all right uh you you're also with the <laughs> group yes okay uh, and i think babbage went north so yeah oh gracious all right yeah <laughs> Is it still a dense jungle outside of this game? It is, in fact, still a dense jungle outside. I forgot <laughs> you guys to cast some... Uh, you changed the terrain north of the gate. Um, <laughs> I never uh, saw any of this, because we went south. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, you and... Like, Babbage, you come up to the gate and discover that, like... You don't recognize outside of the gate. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. open. Um, uh, what? <laughs> What happened here? Ah, right. Yeah, we uh, we took care of some some fellas up here. Oh, oh, I see. You guys were quite busy during the incursion. There we go. We had a great system going. <clears throat> they didn't get very far. Oh, I'm just glad you're all still alive. Um. Oh, all right. That's why I don't have token. Hold on. I don't have these <clears throat> tokens here. A second. Is that the owl bear that just walked to the corner? Where's the best place to grab? If memory serves, he was helping them fight while you and I were south. Yeah. But I doubt it's still there. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to. It's there. Okay, that should be. Everybody. I mean, I would have brought the retainers along, but uh, you know, um, I'm I'm taking it literally with the uh, description says if they're endangered, they'll disappear. So. Um. Okay. Uh, you see Tiberius and Grimbeard sitting on the wall, sort of looking at the four of you, confused. Off to Tiberius. <laughs> off to uh, off on like another like. Adventure or whatever, guys. What where, where are you to now? Yeah, we're like gonna like go to like the rough lands, like like whoa, whoa, dude. <laughs> that's that's like really dangerous. Why would you do yeah. that? Because we're like really into danger. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of looks over at Grimbeard. Grimbeard just sort of shrugs. <laughs> sort of like emotions. You know, it's like... <clears throat> By the way, Grimbeard, you and I still have a, a rain check. I'm going to learn how you did what you did. Staring at his arm. <laughs> or leg or whatever he's missing. Uh, it's his arm. He has a mechanical arm. Yeah. Um, actually, I think he has a mechanical arm and a mechanical leg. Um... Twitch, he just he just kind of smiles really big inside of his beard, which is probably the most emotive you've ever seen him outside the <laughs> one time you heard him opera sing. Um But yeah, so but, but Tiberius is like, oh, that's just wait, is that is that where you guys think they took Cognon and like River? That's that seems like it's really really dangerous, yo. It's a possibility, but you know, I, I, uh, we're gonna go figure that out, and then we'll come let you know what we found. Oh, you do have to go through the wrong. You do have to go to the rushlands to get to Jogtown, man. 
And that's where those airships do like dock or whatever. At least that's mm-hmm, what Whisper mm-hmm. at least that's what Whisper tells us. Anyway. Sure, all yeah, right, sure. good 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 luck. Yep, 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 yeah, sure. Um, okay, so now we have to fight our way through this dense jungle or just let me just go around it or over it. Uh, this wild cheese it's wild cheese moose hunt. I don't know. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here. I don't well, okay, what's your guys' plan? I don't know. I will bring you to the map just because my I'm plan was to go north over the bridge to the restlands, but then there was a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean we could work our way through it, it's just gonna take us a little bit longer. Uh, I mean, it's just like a, hundred, a, a few feet, right? Quick. It's not like it's not an entire jungle. It's just an area right outside the gate where you guys were fighting, right? Yeah. Generally, so I, I don't think it's going to ah, really yes. impede us. We use it as a funnel. Yeah. No, you can. Yeah, you can make your way through it. It's just you didn't summon like acres of jungle. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm-hmm. Just, just like a hundred feet. Yeah. Okay. Well, no problem. We get through it. And my plan is to. Okay. Was that more out of character, or are we looking at the map and you're drawing that out? The I mean, I I am exp- I'm explaining to you my plan of route, such that you understand this is what I want to do. Oh, of course, Babbage wishes to end up in a pound full of junk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that that sounds good for many reasons. <laughs> a, it's a town full of junk. B, it could so- soon be a town devoid of junk, as it's all in my bag. And C, <laughs> our friends could be there. <laughs> Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> you make... A good point. More than one. <clears throat> Where's... Okay. All right. So you guys are just walking. I mean, unless we want to burn spell slots to fly. Oh, how, how long is it going to take us to walk there? Uninterrupted. How how long would it would it be? Um, hold on. 62 artistic miles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, if that's hold on, I'm off the map because I was well, 70, 75. We're not well, if you're going, I mean, yeah, so okay, let's, I mean, to get to the let's see, I mean, so 10. I mean, it would take you about probably a day's walk to get to, um, or maybe like half a day's walk to get to the entry, the entrance of the Rushlands, as it were. Um, we got to be there by noon tomorrow, right? So, yes, if we got to pick up our pace, we may have to take to the skies. Um, I'd, I'd say take to the sky, and it also makes better sense that the retainers aren't with us because how will we carry them? Fair point. The DM feels implored to remind you that the note said the heart of the Rushlands is where you're going, not Junktown, just for the purposes of what oh. the note said. No, Babbage wants well, to go we, to have, we have to go through the Rushlands to get to Junktown. <laughs> <laughs> Makes total sense. So, you know, two birds, one stone. You know how it is. What what time of day is it right now? Sounds like uh, two stones early afternoon. Good. So it would take half a day, which you means have roughly it would be... twenty-four hours. So if we traveled nonstop, we would get to the heart of the Rushlands without any rest and a pretty hard travel. Yeah. Uh, so it would seem, yes. So it's time for you to roll some dice, my friend. Before we get going, are we certain that Junktown is the heart of the Rushlands? Oh, no. The heart of the Rushlands would be the heart of the Rushlands. Junktown's just where yeah, I want to go. Junktown, Junktown has nothing to do with the Rushlands. He just wants to go there. We have to go through the place we're trying to get to to find Cognon on the way to where I might find some Mithril. <laughs> oh, then well, let's I go don't. to Junktown. 
Jeez. <sighs> Persuasion check passed automatically. <laughs> <laughs> How to persuade the cleric? Just add the word mithril. Okay. Um. All right. Well, given that. Um, nope. 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 DM's managing all his maps. Okay. What are the yellow circles on Stone Grove and Strongmont? Those are all the um, the fungal path opening. From Subterranea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All right, I have you. All right, so let's head. Let's head to the Rushlands the fastest way we can get there. To the skies. Oh, you guys are flying. Yeah, um, I see somebody some conjuring dice. woodland beings. That's why you had to roll well, some dice. Certainly, um, you know, I can't help with that. So it it has to be somebody else's decision. But I'd... Jeff Jeff told Mike to roll dice. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm trying to remember what my system was for this. Because uh, you're trying to get <clears throat> pixies. Pixies. Yeah. I think you. So it's CR. I think you had. So I'm going for three fake creatures, CR quarter. I think One you quarter. had three possible spawns they could be the blink dogs, yeah, the pixies, the sprites, count. maybe exactly. something else. Yeah, pixie, yeah, the sprite, sprite and blink hound. Sprite, pixie, yeah. Uh, Sprite's kind of useless. Blink hound's okay. Pixie's great magic. Okay. Um. All right. <clears throat> you have two pixies. And. You have you have three blink dogs, two pixies, and three sprites. Sprites. So roughly, since it would take twenty-four hours nonstop walking, is it safe to say if we all had flight, it would take several hours at most to get there by nightfall? Um. Well, let's see what the fly spell does. It would be a lot faster. Well, they also have polymorph. So yeah, it's all about polymorph. Oh, okay. Um, oh, so just depends on what would you guys normally do? Like a giant eagle? Giant eagles? Yeah. The eagles are the yeah. fastest, right? Two eagles and then two riders. And... Okay. I'm really looking forward to being a eagle back mounted rifleman. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, so you have. You have successfully summoned uh, eight woodland creatures. Um, Bellarmine notices that it seems to be the same sprites that keep getting summoned. <laughs> they're just eating dinner, like <laughs> they're 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 looking mildly annoyed that they keep getting interrupted in the middle of their <laughs> lives to just sort of do whatever it is that the fur blog wants them to do. Um, I think the last time you summoned blink dogs, they all got. They all scattered around from a giant worm that was trying to eat you guys inside of the giant snow plateau. If memory serves correctly. Because um, I brush off my Yeti for a coat. <laughs> yeah. Would it um, help if I, if I bless the sprite? Um, I mean... Honestly, they're, the sprites of, of the three options are the most useless, so... You heard it here, Herf. You heard it here, First, well, we could turn them turn them into pixies. Um, it's not really how that works. I would love to. <laughs> I would love to have five. Oh, let's see. So poly, so so conjure woodland beings is an hour, and polymorph is also an hour. So we have slightly under a full hour of max dash flight speed. All right, so their dash is 100. So the giant eagle's dash is 160. So doing some quick math. 160. Or six seconds. Six. 
times 16 here, could have just multiplied that by 10. I was something like 32 miles an hour. Um, Which I think we all agreed is woefully under speed, but rules are rules. Yeah, I mean... I mean something like, I don't know what the actual came out to be. 26 miles an hour? All right, so the point is you could probably get to the... All right, so I mean, when I say artistic miles, um, roughly we say, like, well, let me see what the... Go back to the map. The enhanced by, the, ability by the crow using... fly, how the eagle flies in this case. Enhance ability using eagle splendor. Would that help them, I wonder? No, that just buffs a charisma roll. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's the wrong map. The only thing that could really help here would be sorcerer metamagic, but... That only applies to their spells. So yeah, I've got none of All that. All right, so yeah. if you just fly to the Rushlands, it'll only take you an hour. Perfect. Because it's strange. Does that put a smack dab in the middle or close ish? An hour will my name. An hour will put you with an hour will put you at the entrance <laughs> of the Rushlands. <clears throat> Perfect. And it'll just be just where we want it to be. It'll be mid to mid late afternoon. Yeah. Ish. Okay. The day before we're supposed to be there. <clears throat> so, um, because we just cast and we've done this many times before, it's not like we're talking about it for five minutes. So, in real time, it's Pixies. Um, I clap and send the, the blink dogs away, and the sprites, I just kind of. Sorry, for <laughs> your, you again. <laughs> um, I suppose. I suppose that the monk should be an eagle, since melee doesn't do much in the air. Nothing personal, Zach. No, that makes and, perfect sense. And. and well, it depends on if the deacon wants to be an eagle or if I want to be an eagle. It doesn't matter. Well, aren't you All concentrate? Right. Is woodland? Hold on. Is... Uh, you can yeah, concentrate on a spell after you polymorph. Oh, I suppose that's fair. But the, because the pixies we'll have to concentrate, concentrate all the time. On. Yeah. Okay, so we'll make. Yes. The pixies obviously... have to concentrate on the polymorph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But. He's so I will turn myself into an eagle because I basically can't do anything else from the air. That's the best if plan. I'm concentrating on a spell. Okay. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> uh, the pixies are just kind of annoying you all. They're like kind of being obnoxious <laughs> on purpose to entertain themselves. Um. Okay. So. You mean the right. sprites? Yes. Yeah. Sorry. The pixies are. The pixies both uh, happily land on their respective eagles that they are concentrating on. I mean, every time we summon sprites, the look on our face is just pure disappointment. So you can <laughs> understand why they want to annoy us all the time. Yeah, like th th this is not this is it's not like, a mutual you benefit. again. They're like, I don't want to be here either. <laughs> this is not this a mutually beneficial relationship. relationship. At all. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um. It's 11 o'clock. I'd like to keep going, but I understand. Does anybody have a hard stop at this point? I don't know if anybody's got lives to be somewhere. I'm good. Well, I gotta, to I gotta go hit for the like... bathroom for a second. That's about it. Okay. I'm good for a bit. Fairly soon. All right. Let me... I have to go very early. Okay. We'll go for another, like... Let me just get you guys to the next... Well, let me see where you're going exactly. All right. So you fly... Um, let me bring you all back to the map. Wait, how do I? Oh, right. I pull down from here. Let me pull you, bring you all back to the island map. So I'm having you fly basically from here. You guys see my arrow, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm putting you basically where you In know H. is like the, yeah, where the H is, where you kind of know that the road like where you like where you know some sort of road start, like meets with the, the with the rushlands the idea being the like you want to have try to figure out some sense of like where you're going uh cuz the yeah. map's clearly not very descriptive 
Um, I, so now I will. And I wink at Babbage and say, that's halfway to the junk land. Mm. You can indeed. I just had you all here so I can. Um, as you fly off, what do you do with the sprites, or do you just leave them behind? <laughs> Did, didn't he send them back? He sent the blank dogs back. Well, no, I didn't send them back. I, had, you know, I said, "Scurry, roll about in the woods, have fun." Oh, I thought you. I guess you can't break concentration as part of the spell. Okay, yeah, no, that's what they do. They're just happy to just go frolic and play. It's like, ooh, new smells. <laughs> um, no, brushlands. Where am I? Here we go. All right. You find yourselves here. Well, if I went there too. Mm. Ominous and in, looking trees. And in, an incarnate map. Very nice. Sorry. I'm just bringing over the actual tokens that are coming. I, I, I had maybe pre staged the fact that the retainers were coming. Nope. Um. All right, so from here, so you guys, you swoop in. I mean, you're sort of hovering over where the the path goes into the woods at this point. Um, but like the dense, like dead, like the trees look very. I mean, you're you're flying over in essentially like an arid, very very dry sort of desert area. The sun's sort of baking down on you guys. It's what three in the afternoon at this point, but you can see that. The trees, despite the fact that they're very like dead and gnarly, like get very dense to the point where like if you started flying further overhead, you wouldn't be able to see where the path goes to know where you need to head at this point. Um, sure. Unless sure. you're gonna uh, and like the brambles sort of like hover, sort of creak in, so that if you're going to keep if you're going to attempt to fly, you're not going to have a lot of. I mean, your flying speed probably has to get cut down just because. You're almost like right above ground level. Like there's not a lot of space for a large winged bird to sort of be able to make it through uh, the woods at this point. Oh, of course. Yeah. Not trying to burn another mid-high level spell slot when we can just walk there in a few hours. Okay, so are you un-eagling at this point? I mean, I figure we have like a minute or two tops after we land. So oh, like that's fair. Yeah. Anyway. The hour is yeah. burnt. Yep, yep, yep. That makes sense. Okay. Uh, what I what I do is when we land, I tell the pixies to break concentration on polymorph before I break concentration on on conjure wood of the beings. Makes sense. And I thank I thank them for their assistance, and tell them that this forest is is dark and murky and they belong in the most pristine of forests far from the reaches of civilization to do pixie things um but don't let your curiosity get the best of you pixie and yes that's it they disappear think before you even know how do they react okay very good <laughs> all right um so you're now at the entrance of the Rushlands. Um, I assume you proceed further in. Farther ahead we go. What's the marching order? Just out of curiosity. And how far ahead are oh. our... Oh, wait a minute. Did I accidentally delete? Oh, where's Babbage? I must. Have... I think I didn't drag him along somehow. Sorry, hold on. I'm there. He's fine. He's right oh, there. Was he? I'll oh. uh, I'll take point, and who will take point ahead of? So yeah, how like dense forward scouts? Oh, sorry, Zach. No, it's okay. How? I mean, yes, I mean, the brambles. Yes, they're too dense for eagles. How is who able? Is who able to maneuver in and yeah, about who's for fine. some kind of perimeter? Okay. Yeah. No. Who so, as an owl is able to just? I mean, swoop. Pre probably. Presume that there's a. Uh, couple hundred foot screen happening um especially ahead but also in all directions you know just a spiral a, a moving spiral shape as we walk along gotcha okay um okay you know what? we're just gonna 
All right. As you get further and further in, it's almost like the sun has a hard time getting through all the brambles. It actually like is getting like steadily gets darker uh, until you guys get to about. So after about an hour of walking into the woods, you aren't here. Um, let's see what you guys can spooky. See. Yeah, so this um, is like, like I said, we know it's not nighttime, but there's pretty harsh shadows and everything. Yeah, is this like, okay? Exactly. Uh, actually, um, you guys, I don't because of the amount of light issues, you guys might actually be having. Um, I don't know if your games are having a little bit like yeah. So you've got who's sort of scouting around um, as he flies over here. You actually see this is a pit um, in the middle of the woods here. Hidden uh, or? Uh, it's more just like you can. I mean, you just can't see over the edge from where you are. But as who flies over, he can. You just see like it's a. It looks like it's like a th roughly like twenty foot deep pit that appears to be like dried mud at the bottom. Oops. Do I? Well, this place is pretty terrible, but at least it's not spiders. <laughs> Yeah. Um, it is not spiders. As you guys proceed forward, though, and who continues to proceed around, he gets above this cliff. Oop, never mind. Oh. Well, well, sugar. Also, rewind for a sec. Is that yep. thing in the pit actually there? Uh, there does seem to be some remains of some very old bones there, yes. Are they... Does it... Was it the are they just generic bones or are they in that shape and size? No, they're in that shape and size. So I think curiosity. Sorry, I'm gonna move who back a bit. Okay. I think curiosity for at least a minute or so. Oh, and I peer over the the pit and wonder exactly what I'm looking at. What's, uh, what do we see, guys? I mean, you're looking down at what appears to be the skeleton and wingspan of possibly a giant flying lizard-like thing that you have no idea. That seems to have been preserved in the mud for you have no idea how long. So it looks like some sort of a dragon bone shape thing? That is what it appears to be. Um, and with that, I'm going to pause you all. Um, as who is about to give you some information, as you're all very curious about this, uh, because you're all going to have to roll initiative here in a second, but Zach has to go, and combat takes forever. So, <laughs> for that, um, this is pretty much exactly what I wanted to get to, so the DM's happy with what happened, uh, and you all have a new weapon in your repertoire. Don't worry about the initiatives now. <laughs> like, we're not going to... Uh, no, I know. I was, oh, no, with yeah. D did uh, the Bellarmine did. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yes, yes. All right. So with that, we'll say good night to the internet. Um, yeah. You said we have a new weapon in our repertoire. The boomstick. Yeah, the rifle. Together. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not a small thing. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the 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 Babbage. Bam. What was Blastomatic. That? Blastomatic. Yes. Thank you. All right. Good night, internet. Good night, good night, good night internet. internet.